Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. If you guys didn't check out last week's vlog, we partnered with Pesty and it's been doing an awesome job. Normally I would have little creatures um, in my office space because as you guys know, we did a full overhaul of our basement and some baseboards are still off. So that was inviting little pests, um, but it seems to be working. I'm thoroughly enjoying the project product. So if you guys haven't checked out that vlog, make sure that you Check the link in the description to check out last week's vlog because I highly recommend them. It's a DIY pest um, product that you can apply on your own. So be empowered to do things on your own. So this week's vlog, we are working on the backyard. We have tons of projects that are coming within this month and next month for sure. Um, but if you guys are watching this over on Instagram, I kind of did some peeks um, of our fence that is being installed or currently it is finished right now. They'll come back in two weeks to stain it. Um, but I absolutely love it. It was a joint collaboration um, as far as the um, Lewis, who is our um, guy that did our fence for us. Um, his company is called LP Landscaping. If you're in the North Georgia area, make sure that you check him out. I'll make sure to leave his information in the description. Um, but I absolutely love it. So when I say joint collaboration, meaning he provided the type of fence and then I just enhanced upon that. And I absolutely love it. I can't wait for you guys to see the fence, you'll see it in this week's vlog. Um, it was just something that I wanted. I wanted a, a grand entrance to a secret garden that I tend to create. And as you guys know, if you're watching over on my planted in this Georgia clay, you'll see a lot more of the garden space, a lot more um, getting my hands dirty and just doing things on the outside of my home because it brings me pure joy. And I was doing things already, but I just decided, hey, why not? I'm outside, let me set up a camera and just give you guys a little bit more in depth of my life here on this Georgia clay. So. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this week's vlog. Hey guys, so we partnered with Roto Shovel for this portion of the vlog to share their handheld automatic shovel. The Roto Shovel digs three times faster than your everyday garden spade and makes planting annuals so much easier. My favorite feature is the automatic shutoff that prevents kickback if you hit a rock, and you know with our soil, there's plenty of rocks in my area. Our kit came with everything we needed, including a battery charger and two batteries. Once I got all the pieces figured out, because <laughs> it took me a little bit of time, um, it was really easy to use and saved me so much time. As you guys know, I have a carpal tunnel, so anything that can make life a little bit easier is a win. I bought a six pack of annuals from Costco and I was able to plant all of them in maybe about four or five minutes. Save time and money by using code Clay 2023 on your order and you'll receive 20% off. So once I really got moving with this thing, I loved it. I mean, it saved so much time. It saved my back, it saved my knees in terms of bending over and having to actually get down on the ground and dig those holes with the garden spade. Now, I would say that it is gonna kick up some dirt. So for me, I did have mulch in that area, but it's okay, you just move the mulch over. Then once you're done figuring out where you're gonna plant all of your plants, just make sure to go back and put the mulch back over just to give it a more finished look 
or even if you have additional mulch, I would suggest that as well, just to make sure that you clean it up a bit. But other than that, it was really fast. I was able to plant all of the plants in no time. So here are my annuals that I use with my roto shovel. I planted them about a month ago and they have been thriving. So these are actually what I got from Costco for 26 bucks for six of them. I gave two dahlias to my neighbor next door, Gina. Um, but these are coleus, these are verbena, these are dahlias here. This one, um, something was chewing on it, but it has bounced back. So now it's thriving and that dahlia is just doing well. I do um, fertilize them every week, so I do uh, miracle Grow, and I just give them some uh, liquid fertilizer every week or so. And they've been doing fine and not a bad deal for 26 bucks. I'm very happy with them. So very, very nice. So now that we have my annual bid set up, and this is actually what I'm going to designate each year of putting different annuals in here. Um, I wanted to point out my Limelight Prime that is doing so beautiful. A Limelight Prime gets about four to six feet um, large. So I figured it would be a great piece here. This is where that holly used to be that was diseased. So I just wanted to point that out. It has so many buds on here, so I can't wait for it to start blooming. It's looking so good. Um, but now finally, let's go ahead and transition into our fence. I'm so excited about here about it. Living here for about two years now, we're finally getting the fence and it's about time. Okay, so I know some of you are gonna be like, well, you guys do so many projects around your house, how come you didn't build your own fence? No, negative. So as you guys know that have been here for a while, Matt did build me a pergola in the back, but we did that in the middle of summer and I promised I would never do that to him again, but digging all those holes and again, all these rocks that are in our Georgia clay. So we decided to go ahead and hire this one out. So um, his name is Lewis. He has a company called LP Landscaping based here in North Georgia. He did do my mother-in-law's fence. Um, and so since I saw her fence, I was like, you know what? I need him to come over and do our fence. Give me a quote, see, you know, what it's gonna be. The price was great. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start this fence. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a little insight of my um, mindset for designing the fence. So originally the fence was gonna go just about here. So it'd just be even here and go around. And I was just gonna keep the, um, I guess, brush here alone. And I was just gonna fence in front of it. Uh, um, and that was it. However, ultimately I decided to change that because um, I didn't wanna visually see the fence when I was sitting down here. Eventually we will have a fire pit here. That's why that's all um, marked out. Can't wait to share that with you guys, but a lot of projects are coming. So anyhow, so I didn't want to sit there and see the fence. Um, the ideal here is all of this brush will still be taken down. We'll put some landscape fabric down here, Matt and I, and then plant some um, evergreens and some beautiful flowers. There'll be a hedge here, ultimately, of incredible hydrangeas that'll go along here. There'll be a flower bed that's gonna go around the fire pit. So all in a work in progress, but I just wanted the fence to be an added perk, an added bonus for protection and privacy. Even though being here in Georgia, you don't necessarily need to have a fence um, because we love our neighbors <laughs> and we wanna be close. But as you can see, all of these homes here, they have fences. So ultimately our goal is to get a pet eventually down the road, maybe for Christmas, we shall see. Um, and we want somewhere for our pet to be um, secure. So the other side of the house here is going to have a trash enclosure and also be basically another continuation coming from this pole here of fence that will ultimately have a pergola here, 
um it's going to be really beautiful so this is the first beginning steps but of course you guys will see that process but i just wanted to give you guys a little inside of my mind and how it works um and what i just envision for our home for however long that we continue to be here and regardless of me moving or not i just want to make sure that it's beautiful and we can enjoy it for years to come however long that may be Right, guys so another checkup i'm so excited i'm so happy with it oh, it looks so good i know it's just a fence and it kind of matches that neighbor however it's going to change slightly and i can't wait but this is just the beginning process and i absolutely love it this is um our secondary uh entrance or gate area but on the other side is going to be the main attraction and i can't wait to show you guys but i just want to give you guys a little update of what's currently going on in our backyard and I love it. Walker, <laughs> you got a whole walking like this <laughs> with Leah. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, guys. So you're ready to see our final reveal of our beautiful fence again, my secret garden makeover. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think what the stain color is going to be. I'm not going to tell you guys. It's going to get um, painted or stained in the next two weeks, so you'll see it on an updated vlog. But guess in the comments what you guys think, and we'll see. So here. It is. absolutely love it hey <laughs> so i absolutely love my fence the ideal again um, behind the fence was just like a, a secret garden a japanese garden something that gave a grand entrance because this side of our property is so large i wanted to make sure that it was the shining jewel when we had our friends and guests come over and our daughters are already saying what they want to do for prom pictures and all kind of stuff my daughter graduates next year and then even my little one um she's talking about her sixth grade dance so <laughs> i can't wait to train a nice climbing rose on here i've already chosen the one that i want so that'll be updated on my other vlog planted in this georgia clay so we'll put some roses going around here to cover the trash can um so the ideal here was to make a trash can enclosure but it, for it to be a fancy one um something that was a little bit different than everyone else's so our trash will go over here eventually this will be concrete so a nice stamped concrete um walkway to our our um, driveway if we decide to stay here but in the next two years or so this will be just fine um coming in this way <clears throat> so you have this entrance here <laughs> the japanese bees beetles are giving us a run for our money this year i don't remember them being so I don't know the word I'm looking for so aggressive last year 
but this year they're everywhere so i got this stuff called bag -a -bug. um i'll link it in the description but so far it's been working but we need one more trap so my uh, neighbor gina is going to bring one home later on today so anyway so here is the so this area basically was supposed to be an area so say if we got pizza delivery or if we just had someone that was coming over and wanted to meet us in the backyard this is kind of be a conversation area before coming into our backyard so again during the summer months when we're just getting like instacart and things like that delivered we could just meet whomever right here and they don't necessarily have to access our property so that's the kind of feel here um behind on this side are going to be some arborvitus as well on this side so that way when you're looking from the street all you can see is basically this tunnel view of our property which you won't be able to see anything else that's going on in the backyard to create more privacy and just a lush again secret vibe so let me know what you guys think in the comments i absolutely love it i can't wait until it's stained and painted i know what color it's going to be but let's see if you guys know exactly how much you know of me um but this vibe right here is just it's so awesome. I absolutely love it. Okay, so the ideal here, guys, is we're gonna have a walkaway with decorative curving. Um, we'll be sure to input some information, or not a, a screenshot of what it'll actually look like. But anyways, it'll come here and it'll be about a four foot walkway, if you guys follow me. So the walkway will curve here. Still undecided if I'm going to create all flower beds on both sides of the walkway. I think it would be beautiful if we did like roses going down the walkway or hydrangeas or something. So we're still, um, getting used to that or thinking about that coming this way the walkway will lead into the fire pit area but i do know on either side of the fire pit here and here will be some iceberg roses i really love them they're like a light airy um breathable type of rose it just look really good this climbing rose here <laughs> it's on the struggle bus but it's still green um but i do need to do some deadheading i think it's just done for the season so as it's enjoying its space and, and rooting and stuff it should be fine um but i wanted to talk about the fence a little bit it is so hot out here um so if it look hot as heck that's why <laughs> um so here's the fence our property does not stop right here we only decided to go about this far down with the fence because eventually there'll be some arborvitus and some plants and shrubs to keep it from eroding and anything like that um back here which we haven't had an erosion issue it's just you do want to make sure that you don't necessarily mess with too much of the natural brush but if you do you need to be able to replant it with something else um so there'll be some flowers here some arborvitus to create a hedge here because when these trees um in the fall naturally the leaves will fall arborvitus are evergreen so at least we could keep some type of privacy back here so that's important to us um our property actually goes 75 feet down but there was not a need to fence it all the way down there because i'm never going to use it and it's just a natural deterrent from rabbits because i had an issue or not an issue but some rabbits were getting into my garden space and so hopefully now with having that fence down there they won't be able to come and visit and nibble away um so coming on this side of our property line so again this is going to be the fire pit area i cannot wait for it we have two new chairs that are coming we're partnering with Costway again so we'll have some fun and things to decorate the space i do want to get a nice black and white umbrella i think it'd be really nice so therefore when we're not using the fire pit and we just want to chill out here we could have some shade over us because it is bright quite bright out here right now um so coming back on this side again mind the mess under our deck eventually the deck will have something going on with that we're just in the transition space with our kids about to leave for college and things in the next two years if we stay if we go and how many projects we actually do within the house to get our bang back when we go to sell it so we're just still in transition of how many projects to do. But for the time being, coming over here, <coughs> which now this side of our house is in shade, which is actually pretty good. It's right now, it's what, four o'clock, 4.42. So it's good to know that this side of the house is in shade. This is the part where we're gonna have all the fun. So this will be where our cornhole, I love cornhole, ax throwing and stuff will be. Living in Georgia, that's like a big thing. Texas too, but. Um, Act throwing just any games and activities that the kids want to do over here we can do and especially with friends and stuff um maybe some beer pong that was something that we did in california so we could do all that within this area so we wanted to have the backyard work for us but also have other areas where i can have my garden we also could have fun with our family and then the kids could have fun too so it's all about those grouping of spaces as you guys know i'm very much so about the details i feel like the details make a project it could either make or break it and with the details per se i had to have something on our fence that was a little bit different than everyone else's 
So I decided to go ahead and put this cap on the top of the fence. I just feel like it gives it a more polished look. It also will help out when I do some hanging baskets with petunias. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it this season or maybe it'll be next season, but I do plan on doing that and just creating it just beautiful. Not around the whole fence, but just the areas where people can see. So um, the front here and then on the other side as well with the pergola. So I just feel like it'll just give that extra spark. I love it too, cause it'll help me to put garland on here during Christmas and stuff and it's just nice. And also it's big enough where I've stood here and had a, a drink with my, my neighbor. So it's actually, I guess it'd be a bar top too. <laughs> so if I wanted to put some bar stools here, that would kind of be cool too. So that's something Gina would love that. So we could do that. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia clay. Please make sure you like subscribe. And again, in the comments, let me know if this was your fence, what color would you stand in? All right, guys, see you guys next week. Bye.